the children that understand all time. Let me be like the east and the children that I want to believe that you've been ordained as an evangelist in your church. Because if somebody like you are in my church, I will have ordained you as an evangelist. Thank you so much, sir. Even the people that are not as talented as you are in my church, they are already assistant pastor. But sir, you are flattering me, sir. Oh, I'm not flattering you. There is nothing like that in my Bible <laughs> or in my dictionary. I don't have anything like that. So, evangelist Bolu Atife. In fact, your ministration was so powerful. I was touched by the ministration. My heart was lifted. Well, all the glory be unto the Lord. For He alone enables man to bless life. Sincerely, Pastor, the auditorium was filled with the presence of the Lord. To the extent people were shedding tears during the ministration. That was indeed an expectation ministration unto the Lord. May the Lord bless his work. Amen. 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 Lest I forget, okay. this is from uh, Pastor Adirinle. Oh, oh, Pastor Adirinle of Adirinle, um, Grace yes. to Our Ministry. Yes, yes. Oh, he's um, a colleague in the ministry. Okay, so, that's an invitation letter. Okay. I, 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 I am quite sure that um, you are going to enjoy that program. Wow. Um, Wally, 
this Can one. you please check the possibility of this date for me? Wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, so unfortunate. Ah, we are fixed up for that day. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Um, we are already fixed for that day. We will not be able to honor this invitation, but we already have administration ahead, even on that day. Um, anyway, I, I will tell him and um, I will as well give him your number so that um, he can communicate with you. Um, lest I forget, I would like to use this medium to tell you that you will be ministering at our convention next year. Wow, <laughs> that's serious. Next year, February. Okay. That's the time we normally do our convention. Um, what exact our date is that? Oh, third Sunday. Third Sunday of February. Yes. Well, let's check for yes. me this time next day. He will be chance. That will Uh, no, no, no. I will be in abroad that time. Oh. Out of the country. Oh, sir. <laughs> I could remember that we are already fixed up by his dwelling place of Tabernacle in overseas, meaning that we will not be in the country by this time next year. And the only month that is available is, um, I think, is um, Wale? Yeah, months. Okay, months available by next year. And the only month available is June, July. June, July, yes. Okay, um, that's not a problem, that's not a problem. What we are just going to do is just to shift our own convention from that February to June. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, sir. You Thank so, you. Um, that June is okay by you. Yes, we are. Yes, sir. There's no problem. Um, Elder, you should just um try to remind me at our council meeting that um our convention has been shifted from February to June. You know, the reason why we are doing that is because of our um, Sister Bolu if I want her to be at that convention. Oh. So just remind me. Pastor. I think we should pray about this shifting. Pray about the shifting. Oh, Elder, Elder. This thing is just a common sense. And um, the Bible even establishes the fact in the book of Matthew 18, verse 20, that we are two or three have gathered. The Spirit of God is there with them. So the Spirit of God is here with us. We are children of God. So as we've taken the decision, Holy Spirit has agreed with us. So just remind me at the council meeting that the date has been shifted from February to June. All right, sir. Oh, sir, we we'll like to take our leave. Before you leave, um, did you get that um, alert of the part payment? Yes, we did. Okay. Um, before you leave, um, tell the treasurer to give you the balance. Children that understand all time. Let me be like the Hisaka children that yet to call red. Hello, Ali. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm sure you guys have gotten ready for the ministration. Okay. Um, I want you to meet me at the living room now. And don't be late. Alright, God bless you. Let me be 
Like the east I've got children that understand all time Let me be Like the east I've got children that lead to corrections Let me be Like the east I've got children that stand away from sin Let me be children that understand all time let me be like the hisaka children that yet to corrections let me be like the hisaka children that stay away from sin let me be let me be let me be wow. let me be wow. 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 Ah, there is no problem about that. Yes. We are ready set for the program. Of course. 30 minutes will be enough for the administration. And um, we we'll really appreciate it if we can minister on time. And because we are having another administration in Abuja today. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Guys, you're gotten ready for the administration and the outing. Yes, good. You guys must put in nothing but your very best in today's outing. You know we don't delay your salary, all because the congregation expectation towards us is quite enormous. And besides, our promoter will also be present in this program. Oh, wow, that's great. And he's already waiting for us downstairs. Can we move now? Yes. Children that understand all time. Let me be like the Hisaka children that yet to corrections. Let me be like the Hisaka children that stay away from sin. Let me be, let me be, let me be, let me be. Like the Hisaka children that yet to corrections. Let me be like the Hisaka children that run away from sin. Let me be, let me be. No! Let me be. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Okay. While the first is 80 feet per minute and also the oxygen saturation is 99. Okay. Okay, let me check.
Ah, doctor. How is that condition? Who are you talking about? Boluwatife by name. Oh, you mean Boluwatife? Yes, is she responding to treatment? We've tried our best to know what exactly is the problem with her. But we could not find out what is the problem. So we are still carrying out a series of tests in order to know what exactly is happening. And where is the... I mean the man that brought her to this place. Where is the man? That man eh, actually is our boss and is our promoter as well. But we couldn't find him. He only sent us a message to call her parents. You mean the parents are not here? Yes. Please, you have to get her parents down to this place very fast. There's something I need to discuss with, with the parents. Please, you have to do that very fast. Hey, hey ah. sir, please, what's the problem? Madam, it is confidential. All right, sir, all right, sir. Hello, ma. Hello. Good afternoon. Please, who am I speaking with? Uh, yes, ma. I am only by name. A friend to Bolu Watife, your daughter. The Bolu Watife is she seriously healed. Sir. And she has been transferred to the general hospital here in Porta Court. Bolu Watife, my daughter. Uh, the doctor insisted that you must be here. Lord, help me not to mourn over any of my children. No. No, mommy. Don't, don't be worried. She will be better. Please. How do I get the address to the place? Okay, okay. I will send the address to you. Immediately I drop the call. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. What is she saying? She said she will be here. Please send the address. Uh, you the mean address, the message? Yeah. Okay, the, the address. I will do that just now. Will you what if Seriously here? And transfer to a general hospital. Hello? Hello, Pastor. Yes. I just received a shocking news now from Potapot. The Bulu Watife is seriously hit. What? And she has been transferred to a general hospital in Potapot. Please. This girl must not die. You know I don't have any relatives. It's okay, it's okay. She won't die in Jesus' name. It is well with you. The Lord will go with you. The man who called me promised to send the address to me. As soon as I get the address, I will send it to you. But I will be on my way to Porta Court now. Please join me in prayer. It is well. Jesus Christ. What is happening? It is well with Buluwati in Jesus' name. What is the problem? Papa, I told you there is fire on the mountain. Fire? You told me the lady will die six months after this covenant to renew And then I went down to the next phase of my money boom. Yes, of course. Ah! Papa, this is the seventh month. She's still alive! I promise you. You mean she's still alive? Yes, Baba. That means the person you used eh, is the wrong person. And maybe you don't follow my instruction very well. Baba, Baba, this is not the first time I'll be renewing the covenant. <laughs> Let me remind you. You told me that I must look for a young speaker that whose God is about to shine. Yes. <laughs> and that's what I did. Who was the face? The perfect picture. She's a promising music minister. Highly talented. Baba, I have diligently and carefully followed your instruction. I have followed them carefully. Wait. Ah, are you sure you had intercourse with her after taking the concussion given to you? And wait, oh, wait, wait. Eh? Did you render the incantation I gave to you very well? Am I smoking? Am I smoking? I told you I followed all your instructions carefully. I did. Ah. Okay, 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 okay. Where is she now? Baba, she is slumped this morning and they've taken her to the hospital. <laughs> did I tell you? Tani Bemutiose. 
Eh? Call her now. She ought to have died where she is now. Uh, Baba, are you sure she must have died by now? You call her. Uh, I should call her, Baba. You are sure she must have died by now? Baba, <laughs> I'm calling one of the members of the team. Hello? Yes, it's me. Uh, how is she now? Ah, 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 glory be to God. Glory be to God. Uh, thank God, thank God. Oh, oh, okay, I'll, I'll call you later. I'll call you later. All right, bye. Ah, Baba! She's not only alive, she's responding to treatment. Ah! Baba, I'm doomed. Ah! Hey, shut up. Who is doomed between both of us? Eh? Ah! Oh, there is fire burning here on my roof. Ah, oh, fire! Do you know what you have done? You brought terrible things to me for her to be responding to treatment at this time of the day? Ah, that shows that the guy must be a powerful guy. Ah, powerful. Baba, she never presented herself to me as a powerful guy now. I didn't know. How did I know? Ah. 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 Baba, what can we do now? What do we have? Quiet! What are you going to do? What are you going to do, Raymond? Do you know what you have done? You have brought death onto my doorpost. Ah. Raymond, I can assure you, both of us are in great calamity. Ah. Baba, because. If this guy refuses to die, someone else must die. Ah! Papa, you can put your hand up. It's a silver grease. What do you mean? God forbid. Ah. Missed it. What's going on? Ah. Lord Jesus. Have mercy on me. Locate me in a time like this. Despite the fact that I disobeyed you, <laughs> definitely you are a good mentor. My dear daughter, even our God is the God of second chance. If we make a mistake and we recognize our mistakes and we are ready to come back, He is always ready to receive us. It is well with you. Uh, but, Buluatife, what are you doing here? I mean, what, what's the matter? What is wrong? Sincerely, Daddy, I don't really know what is happening to me. But it's as if I've missed it. It's as if I've used my hands. Who is my destiny? <laughs> and in ignorance, I drew it into an ocean. <laughs> Can it be found again? <laughs> okay, so, uh, 
just with that. Everything is in your time. Relax, my daughter. It can be found again. If God, the God we are serving, could bring out an axe from the river, <laughs> it can surely put together the pieces of your life again. It can restore you. <laughs> it is well. And it will do it in Jesus' name. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Who are you to ask, sir? Yes, I am a pastor and this is my wife. Oh, really? You are welcome, sir. Uh, doctor, please don't. What is wrong with that, doctor? Sir, but uh, nothing much. There is no problem. But let's go to my office, then we'll discuss better, sir. It's okay. Yes, and doctor. Yes, sir. Please, what was the matter with her? Sir, with a series of tests carried out on her, we detected that she is six weeks here pregnant. Jesus Christ! Please, doctor. Please, uh, there must be a mistake somewhere. Please, uh, please come again. Sir, I said six weeks pregnant. Will you watch it then? Yes. Is six weeks pregnant. Exactly, sir. She's long. Due to the stress and the pregnancy. Meanwhile, her issue is beyond medical attention. Because throughout the night, she was just screaming. It's okay, doctor. So, so, so what do we do now? Mm. So the best thing to do now is to 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 discharge her. Hmm. I've gone faster than my makeup. <sighs> my life is in great danger. Buluati Fe. Ah! I never knew that she was a powerful lady. Hmm. This is a journey of panic and regret. And I know I will have waited for my time. Papa Fashano is dead. Hey, I don't know what will happen to me now. My dear, it's over five hours ago you came back from Portacot. It has been long I sat at the table, but you refused to eat. What is the matter? My dear, talk to me. I'm your wife. I will definitely explain everything to you. But I would like to be alone for now. Please let me be. Okay. I've heard you.
actually happened before you were taken to the hospital because the doctor's report made us to understand that you were six weeks pregnant but ah. <laughs> what if eh? can you see the other impatience has got your life ah daddy is it true that i'm pregnant and also screams at night. Ah! Though, I experienced hunger of regret over the steps taken by me. I cannot really comprehend what happened. All I knew was that I found myself in the hospital. This was what happened a night before the incident. Second time you'll be coming to my room, facing the wall and talking to yourself. What are you saying? Who do I fail? You always want to know everything. Meanwhile, it's none of your business. I'm tired of this sexual intercourse occurring between both of us for the past six months. You deflowered me the second night I came to Port Harcourt. <laughs> what are you insinuating? What are you insinuating? Thank God there's nothing like pregnancy in the whole affair. Oh. At least your ministry is expanding. Oh, please spare me the sermon tonight. Everything has been explained to you before. What if Can you see what the enemy of your soul has done to your life? You, you permitted that man that called himself your promoter to deprive you of your virginity. It's very unfortunate. Now, this man, where is he? Where is he? Sir, after that incident, we received the call from the wife that he lost his life. Oh. <laughs> hmm. You see, when I was praying for you last night, the Lord made me to understand that that man that called himself your promoter. That man wanted to use you for money ritual. Ah! 
Ah! And if not for divine intervention and for the fervent prayers of children of God, you would have been dead by now. Because you see, it was necessary for somebody to die before the morning ritual is perfected. And if he hadn't died, you would have died. Lord Jesus! <laughs> Mercy, Lord! <laughs> I need more mercy for restoration. <laughs> ah! But, Daddy, where is my mother? She hopes you have been here because she so neatly supported me to go to Podakot. You know what to say? You look so worried. What is that mean? Mommy, mm -hmm. you know I've been in support of this family and I've been taking care of my younger ones since the time I went to for that court. It's also what you know. That I've been trying to change this apartment for a better one. But the only thing that makes me sad each day is because my pastor is not in support of my mission in for that court. And whenever I think of this, I'm always sad within me. Only want to find my daughter. What we need is the support of God rather than the support of man. And this man in question, I mean your promoter, is a Christian and you're going to Portacourt was an opportunity which I thank God we did not miss. Ever since the death of your father, I've been the only one taking care of you and your younger sister. But now, things have changed. You now send money home, even to take care of myself and your younger ones. My prayer is that may the Lord continue to help you Amen. and help you Amen. so that you can do more. Amen. I'm more for me. Amen. Ah. Mommy. <laughs> you put a smile on my face again. Thank mm. you so much. You're welcome, my daughter. Um, I expected her to be in Porta Court. Uh, uh, look, Boluati. Yeah, don't bother about your mom. Um, everything is under control. Probably you are keeping from her what has happened to me. <laughs> so that she will not be disturbed emotionally. <laughs> but I need to see my mother. I want to see her. Look, look, uh, Bolu Atife. I have told you. Don't bother about your mom. Everything is under control. But look. I told you not to go to Potako. I, I, I told you to be patient. I did everything. I did everything so that you wouldn't go astray. I even told you the parable of the pot and the potter. I did everything. But you wouldn't just listen to me. Ah. Ah. The pot and the potter. You told me. Ah. Have I not ruined my life now? Bury your future in your past failures, okay? I know God will perfect everything that He wants you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Mommy, I would have to take my leave now. Oh, you want to be going? Yes. Yeah. 
Oh, thank you very much. I pray the Lord will restore each and every one of you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's all right. That's okay. Let me put the answer the kitchen. Okay? Yeah. A great destiny and a great future that has been scandalized. Five years ago, she came to me that the Lord led her to submit herself as a disciple at my feet. And I agreed after prayers and confirmation. She has been doing fine among the quarry staffs in the church. The Lord promised to use her as a great evangelist for this nation and his mouthpiece at this end time. Having known all these vision and promises, I have been counseling her that any man who will be great in the hands of the Lord must understand the time like the children of Issachar. The whole thing started on the day she came back from administration where administration drew so many people to the law. No, it is absolutely wrong, and I won't be a party to it. Abba, but what is fair? You bumped into a stranger for the first time, the very first time, and you concur that he should take you to studio. The Bible says we should get the facts and hold on to the truth. Look. I quite agree that the grace of God is upon you and the Lord wants to use you mightily. But we have to be very careful. You have just finished your ordinary national diploma. And this is the time you should be using for your industrial training. Look, your future is at stake. Your life is at stake. Your education is at stake. And we cannot afford to take any hasty decision so that we won't make a mistake. Look, my daughter, you have to give me some time to pray about this so as to seek the face of the Lord so that we will know the direction to take. Daddy, you don't seem to get the comprehensibility of this matter. This man in question is not requesting any money from me. Neither am I the one that suggested this to him. Daddy, this man saw me with other choristers in the church ministry and he delighted in my talent. Daddy, this is a great opportunity and I don't want to miss it. Look, my dear daughter, I want you to understand my position. I want you to succeed in life. In fact, your success is my joy. But I don't want us to take any estate decision that will affect your future. I, I want you to know that the devil is like a roaring lion. He's going around seeking whom to devour. Look, I, I beg you. I don't want you to be a prey to the devil. Let us take it easy. I don't want us to take any estate decision. This opportunity is a great one. I don't want to miss it, Daddy. I don't want to miss it. Hmm. Impatience is one of the most powerful weapons the devil is using against the children of God today. And the only language is now. 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 When God is saying later, be patient. Take it easy. Ah. 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 And Daddy told me. About the port and the porter. 
understand. He told me. But I wouldn't listen. Now, the baby in her womb is fatherless. Her mother is dead. And she has abandoned her education. Her life has been scattered just as it happened to the pot in the ends of the pot. Me to make an impact. Use me, Lord, to touch lives out there. Use me. Life's out there. People are perishing. Ooh. They are dying every day. Ooh. Use me to save life. Father, can you please disclose your intention towards this poor? You've been laboring all days for the perfection of this poor. I can remember you've been sending your servants on errands for the perfection of this same pot. I am very sure, Father, you have an hidden intention towards this pot. Can you please disclose this intention to me? My daughter. Yes, father. You want to know my intention? Yes, father. My servant, I want you to go and prepare for the next stage of making for this pot. Because any moment from now, I will be through with this stage. Father. I am very sure this sport must have been very important to you. I told you earlier, you've been sending your servants on errands every day. Father, I desire to know your intention. I want to know your intention. Daughter. Yes, Father. You desire to know my intention? Yes. Hmm. Anytime I want to present a fourth generation, any time I want a pot to be my representative, the first thing to be done is making. Making? Yes, daughter. I want this pot. This very pot. I want this pot to serve kings and chiefs. Hmm. I want this pot to be my ambassador. Hmm. I want this pot to be my speaker. Wow! <laughs> a pot serving generation? What a splendid intention. Ah. Let me give you a surprising news. Okay. Do you know you are this pot? You are the one I've been laboring all this while. Ah! <laughs> so I am this pot? Hmm. I have been the one you've been laboring on? Hmm. Ah! You want to use me to serve the kings and the chiefs? That is my intention. Ah! Thank you, Father. Thank you. Ah! Ah, such a wonderful box. Ah. 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 Daughter. Yes, father. What are you trying to do? You are trying to undo your life by yourself? Ah. Any attempt to do so, such a life will be totally destroyed. Ah. Will you permit me to undo your life for you? Yes, father. You have devoted your time for me. Thank you, Father. Hmm. Oh. Daughter. Yes, Father. Jeremiah 18, from 1 to 6, talks about pot and the porter. Don't forget, your cooperation with me will enable me to bring the best out of your life. Oh, thank you.
master we are set for the next stage of your birth and here are the seats requested for the next stage of your birth hmm. these seats are very important for the generation hmm. and very precious to me hmm. but yes father my beloved Yes, father. My daughter. Yes, father. Let's move to the next stage. Oh. Oh. Don't forget, oh. you are the pot. Mm -hmm. I am the porter. Mm -hmm. To make an impact. Use me, Lord, to touch lives out there. Use me. Lives out there. People are perishing. Daughter, yes, this seat is called an assorted seat. A seat of waiting, a seat of preparation. Any man who is found faithful during the period of his waiting. Such man will be exalted because no waiting, no manifestation, a lot of thought were unable to be completed during their waiting period. They launched themselves out and they abused the purpose of their formation. Daughter, those that wait upon the Lord, their power shall be renewed for every vessel waiting comes before their manifestation and don't forget that generation are earnestly waiting for your manifestation oh, thank you father so generations are waiting for my manifestation of course oh, then let me quickly go and serve them daughter yes father you cannot serve them now but why? Because you have no information on what your generations are waiting for. Any part. Who goes out to its generation without the necessary information? Such a part will be deformed. Daughter, do you want to be deformed? No, sir. I don't want to be deformed. I will patiently wait to complete my waiting period. Then, you must patiently wait. Don't forget, daughter. I am the one who announced your making. I announced your exalted seat. Daughter. Yes, father. I must be the one to announce your manifestation. Patiently wait. Wait for a proper time. So that I can announce your manifestation. Job 14 verse 14. If a man die, Shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change comes. I will pour in you the seed for the generation. Ah, thank you, Father. Thank you. Ah, ah, thank you, Father. Daughter, you are carrying what generation are waiting for. Ah, thank you, Father. Father, thank you. Oh, Father, I promise to wait till you announce me to the generation. Thank you. But, Father, what about him? That is mercy. He will stay with you. He will make it possible for you to fulfill the period of your waiting. He signifies my token of love for you. Thank you, Father. Oh, I promise you, I will wait to complete my waiting period. I will be patient. I will wait here until you announce me to the generation. Oh, thank you. What? 
beautiful flower. But I'm sorry, I am not a lover of beautiful things again. What am I looking at? A pot? Oh no, it's not a seed! Ha! This must be a glorious destiny! Another battle heart! In the hand of the Most High! A new threshing instrument! With it! To thresh my kingdom! Into pieces! I promised my father. I told him I would not leave the seat until he announces me himself. No. This council will not be established. But you will not stand. Hello, but you are looking so glorious and wonderful. Thank you. You are even mercifully blessed. I am actually passing by. Before my attention was gained by something sparkling like gold. And I thought in my heart, I can't just pass by without seeing hello. I just must turn aside and see this great sight. Shiny like gold. How are you doing? I'm fine. Who are you and how did you know my name? <laughs> well, but I am an indispensable master. Really? Yes, with several pots in my possession and under my care. Well, I am also honored with different names by those who valued me. Some call me the excellent master. The excellent master? Some, the great instructor. Great instructor? And some prefer to call me the wise master. The wise master? Yes. Uh, remember, happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gain understanding. For the proceed is far better than the profit of silver and the gains than fine gold. <laughs> that is Proverbs 3, 13 and 14. <laughs> uh, but, please, if I may ask, I'm just wondering, what can a beautiful pot like you could be doing in this quiet, boring, and just this seat of yours. How dare you call it an ordinary seat? It is not an ordinary seat or a common seat. It is called an exalted seat. A seat of waiting. A place of preparation. A seat of beautification and glory. It is a very special seat. It is not an ordinary seat. Wow. Ah. What a brilliant response. Ah. What a brilliant response. This shows that you have the in-depth knowledge of the mystery behind this place and of this exotic state of yours. <laughs> now, I commend your knowledge because knowledge is power. Thank you. <laughs> ah, please, but permit me to be a little bit inquisitive about you. You know, I'm just wondering, 
Uh, for how long have you been on this seat? I am not comfortable with all these three questions. And I'm beginning to suspect you. Uh -uh. Suspect? Don't get me wrong. Oh, Proverb 13 verse 20 says, He that walk with the wise men shall be wise, but a company of fools shall be destroyed. Proverb 23 verse 23 also said, Buy the truth and sell it not. And wisdom, knowledge and instructions. Even Proverb 24 verse 4 also said, Okay, now I know what you are saying. You want us to be friends? Yes, and to be of help. <laughs> Come on, tell me, how long have you been on this seat? Mm, I've been on this seat for many years. What? Many years? Is there anything wrong in that? Everything is wrong with that. Uh -uh. Many years? Doing what? My master told me that there is no greatness without little beginning. He said I still need to be more equipped, more furnished, in fact, more beautified, so that he can announce me to my generation. Ah, uh, furnished, ah, uh, purified, ah, uh, you are beautiful enough, ah, uh, you are furnished enough. Uh, I just told you, I saw something glittering like gold. You are the gold. But. This gift I'm seeing is enough for you. Have you to read Psalm 18 verse 16? It says, The gift of a man, make it room for him and bring him before the kings and the chiefs. Which are your generation? Or oh, did your master inform you that there are generations waiting for you? Ah, then you should have been on the ground manifesting, serving your generation. No, I won't take that. It is not yet time for my manifestation. Oh, but listen to counsel and receive instruction so that you may be wise in your latter days. This is what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is not obvious. Okay, again, Psalm 24, verse 1. It says, The heart is of the Lord, which is the ground, and the fullness thereof, and they that dwell therein. Listen, Paul, you can as well be purified, furnished, as well as manifested on the ground. Yes, just give it a trial. I'm assuring you, you will experience something new. Are you sure? I am positive about that. Just give it a trial. Indeed, I want to serve my generations. I think I should give it a try. <laughs> oh, you have just made the best and perfect decision. Ah, what a beautiful pot. But why not? You have to handle me with care. Oh, just as my master usually does. You don't have to bother about that. I am an excellent master. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Ah, ah. Wow. So beautiful. Thank you. I love beautiful things. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah. Wow. Mm. Frankly speaking, there's nothing to be furnished again. Mm. A perfect work. Thank you. <laughs> ah, thank you. Follow me. Daughter, your father has made everything beautiful in his time. Don't go now. I want to give it a try. <laughs> That's all. I'll follow you. No, you don't need to bother yourself. Don't worry. I'll go with you. It's alright. I don't think that would cost us anything. Not at all. So far, you are manifesting. It's alright. Let us go. Let's go. <coughs> Yeah. 
Here we are. It's hot. But, tell me, what do you see? And how do you feel? Ah, I see reality. Ah, I sense freedom. It is precious enough. Where is master? I cannot serve the kings. I can serve the chiefs. I am now a solution to my generation. Ah, thank That's you very much. You are welcome. Thank you. You told me I will experience a new thing. And that is what you have been missing. Mm -hmm. It is spacious enough, wide enough mm -hmm. for your liberty. This can only come from the wise master mm -hmm. who is wonderful in counsel mm -hmm. and excellent in guidance. Mm -hmm. That means I am very, very lucky to have you. Very lucky. I hope I have now been considered as a very good friend of yours. Very good friend. And I will be welcome at any point. The door is open, wise master. You are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that is my point. I do like to take my leave now. Please do. Thank you. Ah, thank you so much. Ah, thank you. Ah, so spacious. Ah. <laughs> he came to kill. To steal and to destroy. All oh, this the devil did to me. <laughs> he used one of his greatest instruments. Impatience. To obstruct the plans of God for my life. Now. I'm at the value of regret. And the only thing that caused this is nothing but impatience. Ah! And daddy told me then that anyone who wants to become great in the hands of his maker must diligently and patiently wait without allowing distraction. But no! I told a deaf ear to his counsel. I continue celebrating outside my master's plan. Ah! My life resembles that of the pots. Hmm. I cannot serve the kings, serve the chiefs. I am now very, very free. So, I have been wasting my time on the exalted sea. Hmm. Ah, when my master comes back, I will inform him of my total freedom and liberty. Ah, thank you, wise master. Ah, hmm. ah, thank you, father. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. I will make sure I serve the king. I serve the king. I serve my generation. My poor. Ah, father, what are you doing on the ground? I'm trying to manifest. Manifest? Who announced your manifestation? Um, the wise master did. Wise one? Yes, father. He said I could manifest on the ground. Who is wise? Aside from the one who formed you from the clay, who is wise? Aside from the one who placed you on an exalted seat, who is wise? Aside from the one who promised to use you and to present you to the generation, daughter. Oh, yes, father. Haven't I told you that no waiting, no manifestation? That your waiting period will determine your manifestation. <laughs> but I told you that if you appear before your time, you will definitely finish. Before your finishing time. I am sorry, Father. He told me that is the wise one. Daughter. Oh. <laughs> why were you so simple to be deceived? 
is not a wise one, but a deceiver. Ah. 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 And by now, you ought to be presented to the generation. Ah. 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 Father. Father, have mercy. Please pardon me. <laughs> Father, please. Present me. We don't present on the ground. Ah. We can only present on the seat. Ah. Every presentation always takes place from the seat, not on the ground. Ah. You are nothing but a disappointment, beloved. But I told you, though, you have missed it already. Oh. You have stained already. Oh. But my mercy is still speaking for you. Oh. I will take you back to the sorted seat. Oh. Thank you, that shows that you will need to start all over. Oh. <laughs> and your day of your announcement shall be postponed. <laughs> what kind of data mass is this? Oh, no, no, no. I have never seen this kind oh. of mess before. <laughs> Except from this great God, He will always bring back His love and His disobedience with His merciful hands. Then he has extended His merciful hand to restore this useless spot back to the entire city. So I was deceived. Oh. Oh. Most want me to lose hope on this world. On this world. That we might fulfill this purpose. This expectation shall be cut off. But I am very positive. I will ensure you frustrate your master's plan and mercy. placed you on the ground. What are you doing on the seat again? No! You deceived me. You deceiver. You lied to me. You told me I could manifest on the ground. My master was as noisy with me. When he met me on the ground. And not only that, he also postponed the days of my manifestation. I don't need your assistance again. Please leave me alone. What? Are you liking me to the scriptures that says all men are liars? I'm not a man. I'm a master. And all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. Nothing crook or perverse is in there. I would only like in my situation, as the case of, uh, as the case of David, in Psalm 1 will never stop. He said, in return for my love, I am accused. And the reward of my good is evil and hatred for my love. How disappointed the master can be when his servant disobeys. Likewise, how painful the heart of every servant can be when he or she receives discipline from the master. For what? How would you understand that I am trying to help you? Help? Help my soul. 
Ponto. Pay attention to me. The method your master is using is so no longer relevant in this generation. The method is old. What? I have tried it years back. It's no longer working. I tag it a total waste of time, purpose, and destiny. You are reminding me of a precious servant, my beloved servant, that I love so much. A servant I care for, a servant that I wanted him to become the best for his generation. So, I labored day and night. I kept my servant indoor for many years, thinking he was not matured enough for manifestation. <sighs> but just few more days, few more days for me to launch my pot out. <sighs> what happened? I found another pot. Oh. I found another servant <laughs> in the rightful position, meant for my servant. Ah, I render my servant irrelevant and useless for his generation. I allowed his posterity to be cut off, even his name to be blotted out, even in the coming generation. And it wasn't his fault, it was my fault as a master. But what are these thinking things inside you? They are the virtues, the seeds. Baba planted in me. Eh? You call these thinking things virtues? I can't perceive anything. You can't perceive anything because you are not a master. Just thinking. Ah. This is what I've been telling you. You have spent too much time on these seeds. Why did you allow the curse in the scripture in Isaiah 3 verse 24 to come to pass in your life? It says that it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, it shall be stink. Oh, oh. I don't even think I can stay any longer. Oh, oh, why must that be? You can't leave me as such time. If you pay attention to me right now, no king, no praise. Not even a fool. We allow you to come near them, not to talk of serving them. Oh, oh. I think I have to step down. Oh, oh, oh. Where is Master? Please, don't leave me at such time as this. Please, please don't leave me. Even if at this point your old master should step in, he will step out. Ah, oh, oh, please. In fact, I am ready. Instruct me. I will comply to your terms and conditions. Please. Daughter, why do you want to frustrate the plans of the master? I need an urgent help. And I can't afford to miss this opportunity. Voice master, please attend to me. I will only remove those thinking things on the ground. Again? All right, agreed. I am ready. I want to serve my generation. I want to stop the kings and the chiefs, please. Please help me. Please. Oh, please. Oh. 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 Oh, please, undo me with care. Please. Oh, to Jacob. It was the sweet smell that came out of his body made his father to bless him. But unto you, Horrible oh. Ah. Oh. 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 How do you feel? Ah, wise master, I feel refreshed. 
book of Proverbs 24 verse 6, it says, By wise counsel, you will wage your own war. And if the multitude of counselors, they are in faith. Follow me and obtain your faith. No, 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 no. No 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 I will never go never go astray oh Lord No 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 What to say my generation But, tell me, how do you feel? Oh, wise master, I feel very comfortable on this ground. So special, so wide for my liberty. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ecclesiastes, 3 verse 1 says, to everything, there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to tear and a time to seal. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. But you have been keeping silent all this while. Your time to speak has come. All you need is to be bold and be courageous. When your master comes, confront him. Tell him to his face that you are comfortable on the ground. Listen, to every destiny, there is a choice. I mean in your own matter, you have a say. But, I hope by the time I return, I will meet you on the ground. Wise master, I... Ah, mercy. So you locate me in a time like this? You are welcome. Ha! Ah, wise master, I promise you, you will meet me where you placed me. I will meet you on the ground. Definitely. Thank you very much. Ha! Ah, thank you. Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! It is precious enough. Now I am certain, very, very confident that. I am not going back to that exalted seat. Tell him you are comfortable. Hmm. There is time for me. Ah, I cannot serve the kings and the chiefs without limitations. Ah, 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 ah. ah. Eh? Hmm. My pot. Ah, father. What are you doing on the ground? Why have you chosen to crop up before your time? But I told you. I told you that I will be the one to announce your manifestation. <sighs> Daughter, don't waste your future. Don't jeopardize your tomorrow. Permit me to take you back to the sea. I beg your pardon. Don't let that steal the eyes on me. I am comfortable on the ground. In fact, I am doing exceedingly great on the ground. Exceedingly great on the ground? Yes. Without my intervention and permission, daughter, we shall wait and see where your impatience is taking you to. Ah! What am I seeing? Where are the virtues? <coughs> you call those seeds virtues? Those thinking virtues are nothing that my generations cannot eat from. I've removed them. This is nothing but a way to destruction. Mercy. We cannot continue with this spot again. And we shall wait to see where your impatience is taking you. No, 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 no,
<laughs> the Lord finally left me when I was adamant to his counsel. <laughs> Just as a case of beloved the fourth. <laughs> realized that the devil is outside there hunting for my life. He told me that he's outside to manipulate the promises and covenants of God for my life so that I will not be able to become what God wants me to become. <laughs> my progress. Oh! What a great disaster! <laughs> the journey looks so beautiful to me. My destruction. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sir. Uh, am I speaking with um, Evangelist Bolu Atifre, the president of Divine Grace Ministry? Yes, sir. Oh, how are you, madam? Am I? I'm calling you in respect of our program that will be coming up by December 19th of this year. We received a leading from Holy Spirit to invite you as a guest minister. And um, we want you to be there. A leading from the Lord? Yes, of course. So I'm um, just calling to know whether you will be chanced on that day. That cannot be true, sir. Because I am undergoing God's dealing presently. I will advise you pretty more so as to receive correctly from God. Thank you so much, sir, and good day. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Ah. No, 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 no. She just has to be here. The program we've spent a lot of money on. And um, we are inviting her just to book crowd so that we can realize our money. <laughs> <laughs> I often wonder if truly churches receive rightly from God as they claim to before inviting any minister to their churches. If not, God would not have allowed them and God would not have directed them to invite me to minister to their congregation because I have been joining all this while alone. I have been involved into the ministry that my maker did not send me. 
What a wasted time and energy. <laughs> this is my life. Now, indeed I've been experiencing great things. I am doing very well. I mean manifesting on the ground. Ha! Huh. My beloved. Guys, master. You woke up, but you look so scary. Why are you in this attire? You mean my attire? Yes. This is my best attire. And I always put it on anytime I want to accomplish a mission. Yes. Don't you like it? Oh, anyway, so far you said it's your best attire. It's okay by me. Hmm, like I said, I have been doing very great on the ground. In fact, exceedingly great on the ground. I've been manifesting, serving the kings, serving the chiefs. In fact, I've been experiencing new things. Oh, thank you. Indeed. Ah, you stepped on me. I want to believe that was a mistake. You have found with me again! Keep quiet! What is master? Go! Are we, are we quarreling? We are not only quarreling, we are sworn! Ah! You can say this amicably? I am the great Lucifer, the bright morning star. How dare you fall? Take place on the edge of my master! My master! Is it that I was once placed and I lost? I was cast to the girl and became a wanderer. I only proposed in my heart that we exert my throne above the throne of God, that I will rule in the midst of the stars, that I will run the assemblies of the angels, but suddenly I was cast to the ground and became a wanderer. Ever since, I determined that every destiny that is placed on the exalted sea, I will cast to the ground and become a wanderer. But every destiny I cannot kill. Oh. I steal. And every destiny that I steal, I destroy. But oh. it is your time to be destroyed.
Ah! What a wasted effort. You are good for nothing. You frustrated your waiting period. You frustrated the effort of your master. You frustrated the mercy and the grace of God over your life. You are good for nothing. But I told you before that if you go before your time, you will definitely finish. You are already finished. We need to prepare your replacement. You shall be replaced. not patient with the matter of his life. A man who feels is capable without his potter's assistance. Touch people. Always come back. Injured. Battered and broken. Oh. My daughter. <laughs> yes, father. <laughs> what is this on the ground? Oh. A broken pot. 
<laughs> just as my life. <laughs> a broken pot? It's brother. <laughs> oh. This is what I can still do to any scattered life who surrenders all to me. Oh. Us. His car can never be like the flesh. Often time, I leave it like that just to serve as a reminder to all my children which can easily bring them back whenever they are going astray. Father, please I need your mercy. Please help me. Mercy will be available for you again whenever I place you back. On an exotic seat. Treated the potter's efforts on her. Lord, this is my life. Ah, have mercy on me. Bulu, you mean you are still crying? Bulu, I thought you should be sleeping by now. For how long will you continue to be crying? But I've told you, don't bury your future with your past failures. By the way, I expected you to have come to the table. Mommy. Yes? I couldn't sleep, neither can I eat. Why? I just want to see that. Daddy? Yes. Is that all you need? Yes, I want to see him. Okay. Let me go in and call him. Daddy, please, I'm sorry for all my hearts of disobedience. I'm very sorry for disobeying and disappointing you. My dear daughter, disappointing me is not the most painful thing to me. The most painful thing to me is that you allowed the devil, the enemy of your soul, to truncate the plan and good intentions the Lord has for you. Please sit down. Mm. 
my dear daughter, children of God who disobediently vacate the place the Lord has located them, we end up being non entities in the plan of God. Such children of God will end their life in shame, agony, and unhappiness. My dear daughter, as many who cannot wait for the plan and covenant of God to come to pass in their lives, will surely be rewarded with gnashing of the teeth by the devil. Look, as many as are ready to appear before their time, will surely finish before their finishing time. But those who are ready to come back to their maker, despite all the damages they may have gone through, you see, the Lord is ready to receive them. The Lord is ready to remold their lives. The Lord is ready to put back all the broken pieces together again. My dear daughter, the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 14 makes us to understand that when God saw that the children of Israel were scattered he promised that he would gather them together again if you are ready to fall down before your maker if you are ready to fall at his feet and ask for forgiveness and genuinely repent of your sins. The Lord is ready. The Lord is ready to put back all the broken pieces together. The master potter is ready to remove your life. He's ready to put you back again. You see, we the children of God we are the pot while God Almighty is the potter and the devil the devil is the deceiver and the main intention of the devil is to make sure that the lives of the children of God are scattered and disorganized just as he was driven out from heaven along with the fallen angels and is going around in a disorganized way looking for whom to devour. It is his desire to make sure that the lives of children of God are disorganized, are scattered and broken to pieces. Isaiah chapter 1 verses 18 to 19 says, Come now, let us reason together, said the Lord. Do your sins will be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Follow. I remember when I was going astray making decision. My husband told me the same story that he narrated to you about the beloved. And I surrendered myself and the Lord ordered my steps. 
All you need to do is to release yourself totally and he will remold you and direct your footsteps. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I plead for mercy at thy feet. Please forgive me and have mercy on me. Do. My mother encouraged me to go to Porter Court in order to meet her needs and that of my younger ones. I should have taken my stand to let her know the truth that I've been told. Daddy, where is my mom? Hello? Am I speaking with Mr. Raymond Afolayo? Please, who's on the line? I'm in line. My name is Mrs. Richard, calling from Nigerian Petroleum Corporation. Your husband attended an interview in our company four months ago, and I'm well pleased to inform you that the management have decided to grant the appointment as the customer satisfaction manager. Accept my congratulations. Well, <laughs> we just lost him three days ago. Ah, madam! to family. Accept my condolence. What a life. <laughs> this man was not worth patient for his appointed time. <laughs> After so many years of job searching. Wasted on a field line. <laughs> See what carelessness has brought to me. <laughs> because of my carelessness, <laughs> I will enjoy the world I do not know its source. <laughs> I only know my husband is working. <laughs> but what is doing precisely? I do not know. <laughs> my lackadaisical <Nakadosuko's> attitude. <laughs> To be booty <laughs> and my house it dissonates. <laughs> Lord, my life is scattered <laughs> in my house, it desolates. <laughs> Lord. My life is scattered. Please come on me. Let me go. Good work, Tiffany. Hmm. When your mother heard about the incident. That about it to She decided to come over to Potako to visit you. And um, she boarded the bus going to Potako. And um, according to the reports, she arrived in Potako safely. Hmm. So, what happened? My dear daughter, it was a very, very terrible day. Yes, come in. Yeah, welcome. Okay. There is a man here to see you. Okay, who is that? What's the person? He is actually a police officer. A police officer? Yeah. Okay, let him in. Now, 
остановиться. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, officer. I'm Detective Edwin from Umukoro Police Station. Okay, how, how may I help you? I came to see Dr. Desmond. Dr. Desmond? Oh, there's no problem. Oh, uh, not at all. Uh, I came to deliver a message. Okay, um, I'm the Dr. Desmond. Actually, I'm here in respect of a young lady. Her name is Bolu Atife Antisoya. Bolu Atife? Yes. Bolu Atife is in our custody. Receiving treatments. Well, a news came to our notice that the vehicle bullet the first mother took while coming to visit her daughter here had a ghastly accident. Jesus Christ! Accidents. But everybody in the vehicle sustained injury, but it's a pity that bullet the first mother gave up the ghost. A few minutes you have been taken to hospital. What? So you mean Bolu Atife's mother is dead? This is terrible. This is terrible. This is terrible. But the corpse of the woman is at Mainland Hospital, situated at number 14 Skyland Street, Baltimore. Well, I would like to take my leave, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good day, sir. Yeah. Bye. A father, <laughs> my education is at stake, <laughs> and I don't know what will happen to my marital life. <laughs> Though I'm still living, but I'm scattered. <laughs> 